I started my sketchbook off with more drawings because I felt like I needed some more motifs to go with my uh, magpie drawings. Um, and then I started looking at um, this wallpaper piece by Romo. I was looking at the tonal shades uh, that create like a mature, simplistic look. I was looking at the neutral colours and how that um, complements the actual like trees within the design. Um, and I was looking at the texture, how it's glossy but it's got an underlying rough texture linking to nature's dewiness and like the rough tree bark. And I wanted some more inspiration so I took to Pinterest and I was looking at like magpie drawings, um, like arts and crafts designs came up quite a lot that I was quite uh, drawn to. Um, I thought looking at the National Trust would be a good idea considering um, that my project is based on magpies. And I discovered that the Red House was there. So I was looking at the Red House and I was heavily um, inspired by William Morris, who I then decided to look at. Um, and I really liked his Augie repeats. And the fact that he does printmaking and his symmetrical designs. And he's also uh, well, one of the creators of the arts and crafts movements. Which I do go on to look at. Um, and this is a piece uh, called Pimpernel by William Morris. Which is one of my absolute favourite designs. And this was heavily uh, in influential in my project. And then here I did some drawings of flowers. And then, as I said, I go on to look at the arts and crafts movement. And this is when I discovered Voicy. And I looked at his work on the V&A. And then I was looking at repeat structures. Uh, and I was drawn to the block repeats and half drops. And symmetry, as I just spoke about. And these are by both uh, Voicy and William Morris. And then here's just a little half drop block structure. So I can refer back to it when making the half drops. Um, and then I went to my garden for inspiration, took some photographs. And um, I decided to make a little mini collage using the offcuts from a William Morris sample wallpaper. And then this is one of my first designs of the uh, project and it's a half drop repeat design drawn onto graph paper and then this is the design transferred onto plain paper and I use the graph paper just to make it accurate. Um, and then here I've uh, hand offset the pattern um, and I've written down the like little formula <laughs> so I can refer back to it if I need to. Um, and I said by here that next time I'd like to uh, rub the penciled lines out or maybe go over them with white paint because you can see them very faintly but I did get rid of them on Photoshop so that's how I solved that solution but I thought for future reference I would like to rub it out next time because, um, where is it? Here um, I left them in. Um, I should have rubbed them out. <laughs> and then these are my risograph prints from the previous design. Um, I really like this vibrant one, but I also do like the subtle ones as well because I feel like my colour palette is very subtle and um, using the risograph printing technique, it made me um, explore colour more. And then um, I played with the colour blue and I hand painted one of them. I thought it created some texture and I really enjoyed the uh, contrast between the royal blue and the gold. I thought these colours were very complementary. And then um, I combined the blue and the pink to make a purple colour and it's um, made like quite an off, uh, like an offset. Um, 
kind of uh, like optical illusion sort of look. And then this is one of my other designs, which is heavily inspired by William Morris. It's a symmetrical cut-through block repeat. So um, this is it in its original form, and I used the photocopies of my uh, drawings from at the beginning of the book. Um, and here's, and then I photocopied it again, so that it'd all be flat, so it'd be easier to trace and make a repeat out of. And then here's the cut-through. And then I um, came up with a little colour palette using fabric swatches um, because this design is for, it was made for my screen print. Um, and yeah, I just wanted an idea of what colours I wanted to use as a background piece so I could paint the wallpaper or the, make sure the paper is in the right colour. And then I wrote down the type of dyes that I'd like to use. And then this is where I start uh, mood boarding using images from uh, a house and garden magazine just to gain some more inspiration and to see um, just vision where my project is heading. Uh, I also used my own uh, design from my screen print. And I was looking at um, some rustic, authentic looks and coming up with a colour palette. And then looking at like classical, luxurious and rich um, designs and colours, which links to um, like Voicey and William Morris. And of course the florals. Uh, um, from looking at these trends, I discovered that I really like the authentic look and um, like quite a Moroccan-inspired uh, sort of outcome. And I thought that it would look quite nice as a um, side piece to my focal designs, which are obviously the magpies and florals. Um, so I looked at Matthew Williamson. And I liked his use of symmetry and, like I said, the Moroccan sort of style. And then I was looking at these uh, wallpaper samples from John Lewis and I made notes of what I'd like to do in, um, like, say, if I was screen printing designs similar to this. The sort of, uh, like, binders that I'd use. So, for example, I said maybe a translucent background and then... Um, Maybe a silver or gold foil on top, or a metallic or pearl binder as a foreground. And that led me on to looking at tiles. Uh, so I looked at Porcelain Superstore, which are a British interior tile-based store. Um, and I decided to uh, go back to Visual Inquiry and find one of my tile designs that I made. And I wanted to make a lino print out of it, which I do on the next page. Um, and then I also visualised here a tile sample from Porcelain Superstore next to um, a wallpaper sample from Kit Miles, who I also look at. And then these are just some more samples and then some more ideas that I've written down, the type of dyes that I'd like to use. Um, and then this is the tile design that I spoke about just now. And I made a lino uh, repeat out of it. And then here's the repeat there. And then I decided to make an orgy repeat. So um, in order for it, for the actual orgy shape to be accurate, I went on Photoshop. And then I hand drew the design on paper and then here I've printed it in the printmaking room and I also used the offsets which I thought were quite interesting and it's made quite an abstract look and then I did it in black 
and onto a pink background which is quite uh, interesting to me because I seem to use either neutrals or blue. And then I started looking at Kit Miles and um, I liked how his drawings were um, well bird related, they're very detailed, they're vibrant which isn't like me. Um, and I also really enjoyed his use of depth in his work. And then I made some responses um, using uh, a risograph. And then these are just the um, designs that I made for the risograph printing. And these are the outcomes. And as you can see, this design is actually a repeat, and I decided to repeat it then by hand on this page. And that's my sketchbook. <laughs>